Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of fractions and decimals, specifically how we can relate the two, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So let's start with some basic fractions that we're going to be looking at. We're going to be looking at fractions that have a denominator of 10 and a denominator of 100. In fifth grade you'll go up to a denominator of 1,000, but right now we're just going to look at tenths and hundredths. So if I wanted to write just a very basic fraction, let's say I want to write five tenths. When I say five tenths, you probably hear this word tenth, and let me spell it out. It actually relates to one of our decimal places. Now not every single denominator works with decimals. Right now we're looking at the two uh, denominators that we're going to use the most, tenths and hundredths. Because when I say tenths, then we're looking at place value, right? So this is our ones place. And then we have a decimal. And then the first place value after the ones place is called the tenths. And the reason we call it the tenths is because it takes 10 of them to make a whole. So if I were to draw a, let's say I were to draw a hole right here, I cut it in half, I'm going to cut it into fifths. So now I've got tenths here because I had a half and I cut each of those into fifths. If I were to shade in five tenths, I could do it like this. One, two, three, four, five. So that's five tenths in a pictorial representation. And you could also write it as a decimal. You could write it as 0.5 because this first place value past the decimal is the tenths place. Now you would never write it just 0.5. If it's just a decimal, you always at least put something in the ones place, even if it's a zero as a placeholder. So rather uh, than simply 0.5, which is technically correct, always put something in the ones place, even if it's a zero. Let's look at how that would be on the hundredths place. Now this is the hundredths. I'm not going to draw a hundredths grid because that would take way too long. But hundredths is going to be the next place over. So if we have a zero here in our ones place, we have a decimal. This we've already said is our tenths place. This is going to be our hundredths place. And so when we have a fraction that has a denominator of 100, this right here relates with this place in the place value right here. So we would write a five in the hundredths because it says there are five hundredths. Now, if we don't put a zero here in the tenths, then it's going to look really strange. You're not going to write something that looks like that because that honestly looks like five tenths. So right now we have five hundredths. We don't have any tenths. So we need to make sure we put that zero in the tenths place. And then once again, always put something in the ones place to make sure you hold a place. So now let's look at it the other way. What if we start with a decimal and want to write a fraction? Well, let's make sure we understand our place value here. This is the tenths place. So we want to make a fraction. We want to make sure our denominator is 10. And then we would put what digit is in that tenths place? 6 tenths. Seems pretty simple. And so 0 0.6 is the same as 6 tenths. Now we're not worried about simplifying or reducing at this point. We just want to show that you can have the same quantity in a decimal form right here. So this is what we would call the decimal form. And then sometimes uh, we might call this the fractional form. That means it looks like a fraction. Now 1.3 is going to be a little bit trickier because you see we actually have something in the ones place. So there's two different ways we can do it. The typical way would be you simply leave that as a whole number. We're going to end up making a mixed number. So this is going to be the tenths place. And so we're going to put not a 3 down there. Always put the place value name down there, 10, and then 1 and 3 tenths. You can also write it as an improper fraction if you wanted to, because we know that 1 and 3 tenths can also be uh, written with simply obviously tenths, but if you count the tenths here, we actually have 13 tenths. So 1 and 3 tenths is the same as 13 tenths, which is written in decimal form here as well. 